Hey guys, it's Celine here, and today I am back with a brand new video. I'm going to be reviewing the BoxyCharm subscription box for the month of August, which I must say was one of the best months BoxyCharm has ever had, in my opinion, I think. I loved, loved, loved the products in the subscription box for this month. And so basically what BoxyCharm is, before I start talking about the products, it is a monthly subscription box. Try saying that five times. It's really hard, because I had to record that at least six times by now. Anyway, so every single month, BoxyCharm sends um, these um, full-size products to your doorstep in a box like so. BoxyCharm does have full-size products, so I'm just going to open the box and I'll show you the first thing that comes in it, which is this little Beach Babe card, because I guess it's Beach Babe themed. So when you flip the card over, basically you have a list of all the products and um, just like how to use them if you don't know what exactly the products are, which you probably would know because again, it's pretty self-explanatory, but they have it there just in case you don't. And they have all the prices on the side of the card, so that way you know how much each individual size product is if you were to buy it on its own. And basically you're seeing the deal that you're getting with getting BoxyCharm every month, rather than buying each of these products on its own. And so again, this is crazy. All of them are full size, as always, which BoxyCharm has. So I'm just gonna get right into the video. So um, this is what the box itself looks like. An awesome box. I'll start off with the brush because I've already used it and it is a Morphe brush and this is the Morphe brushes powder bl brush. And so basically, it's a very, very soft brush. It's awesomely sized, so I don't even know how they fit this in the box. But like they turned it like in a diagonal way and it was covered in a packaging so it was not used before. But I mean, I took it out, like I said, I used it. I even used it today to put on the powder. Um, did I use powder blush? No, I put on a powder over my blush though, my cream blush. And this is so soft and I've never tried Morphe brushes but I've heard of them in the past and I am honestly obsessed. It is a perfect size brush and I'm in love. Next is an eyeliner and this is the Ofra Cosmetics eyeliner. Again, full size and it is a black color. So it looks something like this. It's I don't really wear black pencil eyeliner so for me this isn't that useful. But I mean maybe on one day if I want to line the upper lash line or something I will use this or just something of that sort. So again, it's just the regular black pencil eyeliner and I've used Ofra products in the past from BoxyCharm and I've had a pink lip gloss which was um which was a really bright pink color so again with the Ofra brand I don't really know it that well but I mean I get I'm guessing it's starting to make an appearance in nearly every single BoxyCharm box. Next one of the products I am most excited about is the Enter Pronoun Blowtorch Bronzer. I'm just reading it off the card so I know exactly what the name is in case you guys want to buy these products on its own. So it looks something like this and it's really heavy so when something's really heavy I kind of know that it's expensive if that makes any sense like if you've ever looked at the um like the uh, setting powders at sephora versus the ones at like target you'll see a major difference in like the weight of it so it has a really fancy packaging like that and when you open it it is really fancy just saying looks like this isn't that so fancy and then the bottom of it has like the bronzer and this was made in Italy which is awesome so when you open it you get an awesome full size mirror if you guys want to see yourselves there you guys are but um it's full-size mirror. Like, isn't that awesome? I, I thought it was pretty cool, and the bronzer itself looks like this. It's an awesome, warm, brown color like a bronzer would be, and when you swatch it, it is so creamy. It is very, it's not very, very pigmented, but since it is a darker brown color than a normal bronzer, at least in my opinion, I don't really wear bronzer that often, but I do know that this is a darker brown than most bronzers. So again, for it to be um, not that, that, that opaque is pretty good because again it would give you this natural finish. Next is the Tarina Tarantino Conditioning Lip Sheen. Again, full size. This is $22 on its own and basically this is what the packaging looks like if you guys are interested. It's a nice little package and this is in the color Floriculture. So I when I opened this it was a berry color so again packaging is pink inside which is really cute and um the packaging is very, very, it's very heavy. It's not, not very heavy, but I mean it's heavier than a normal lipstick that I'm used to. And it has like a bejeweled, um, like side right under where it says the brand name when you open it up like this. It's a metallic, um, packaging and it is a purpley berry color, so I'll just swatch that really quick. 
Um, again, this is a little bit too dark for me because I don't really wear purple lipsticks, but I mean, it is a berry color, so what I was thinking of doing was during the fall time, I would apply it and dab it on my lips and then blend it with my finger to give a natural finish. So, awesome full-size product if you guys can see that that's it all the way. Lastly, you have the Cheek and Lip Tint by Model & Co. I'm so excited about this. I used a little bit on my lips today, but again, I put a lipstick over it because I didn't um, think it was enough for me. Like, I want a different color. But this is what it looks like. It comes in a packaging like so. And it looks like that. And basically, if you guys are, if you guys know the benefit, um, like the Bennett tints, like what you put on your cheeks or on your lips, it's basically this, and it is in the color Rosy Red. So this is what it looks like. Um, I do have to warn you, if you do use this, push slowly, like press it gently because it can squirt up and blend all over your desk. So if you don't want to mess, very slow to very slowly and carefully and make sure you guys can see the product before I mean, put an insane amount on because it is a stain. And so again, try not to use your fingers because otherwise your finger will get stained like mine was. But I mean, color wise, awesome pigmentation. I guess I'll do a quick swatch even though it will stain my hand, but whatever. So I'll do a very, very small amount like that. And then when you blend it out, it's a very, very, very natural. You guys can't even see that, but in person, like when you put it on a blush, like when you use like as a blush or on a lip tint, it gives the most natural rosy red color, very true to its name. And that is everything in the BoxyCharm box for August. By far one of the best boxes ever by BoxyCharm, so I'm really loving this. Um, last month, I'm pretty sure there was a Tarte um, product in there, like a, a Tarte um, cheek stain, which I really am upset that I missed out on, but I mean, Hey, I'm so happy about this box especially. So again, if you guys want the link to BoxyCharm, the link will be down below in the down bar. So make sure you go open that up and see all the cool links I have down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.